Okay, so this week the project is to upgrade our headlights to some LED headlight bulbs. We discovered that uh, as much as we love this truck, and I love this truck, the headlights are terrible on it. So we discovered this basically on a lot of old country roads when we were camping up in uh, northern Georgia and South Carolina last week and I was having to roll down the windows to basically make a turn to see where I was turning. Granted we do have tinted windows but I've never I've never noticed that being such a problem before. <clears throat> I mean it's fine down here in Florida where we have street lights everywhere but on the when you're in a pitch black area they were not good at all and the high beams almost seemed like they were worse than the low beams. So I did some research and I'm going to try these Yorkham um, premium LED headlights and we're going to see if they make an improvement. They were relatively cheap and uh, if they do make an improvement and maybe they don't last as long or something because they were cheap, then I'll look into putting some better grade, higher quality ones in. But uh, this should be a fairly simple job on an F-250 Super Duty engine that's a gas engine. Um, the diesel engines, you have to take this shroud loose here, and you have to take the grill off and all that, and uh, so I'm lucky for that reason that I have the gasoline engine. I'm going to be able to do that without doing anything. I'm just going to have to take this one shroud right here off, which I think uh, goes to moving air towards the transmission. But on, on this side, I'm not going to have to do anything. I can go right back in behind there, and I can reach... If I can see, I'll be able to go. Let's see, where's the headlights? I was, oh, right here. I'll be able to go right back in here and pop the headlights out and replace the bulbs. So these, this, these are the bulbs that I got. Yorkham. And there's two bulbs per box. I need two bulbs for each side, high and low beam. And, uh, I'll do a little before and after comparison, shining the lights on the garage door here and see if uh, they make a difference there and then we'll take it for a test drive and I'll, uh, I'll see if there's any improvement. I'm thinking even if they go from that um, yellowy halogen color to more of a white light, it'll, that alone will be an improvement. So that's what I'm hoping for. All right, so I'm going to get my headlamp that Allie likes to make fun of me for buying and I'm going to use it to be able to see in here and because it's getting dark and I'm gonna uh, start switching these bulbs out and see what happens let's get to it all right so I've got the light unplugged now I just got to reach in here and I don't know if I can see it I'm just gonna reach in here and then twist the bulb and get it out okay so I got the old bulb out this is what it looks like you got to make sure that the red seal comes out with it. It stayed behind, and I got to. <clears throat> so you have to pull that out, or the new ones will not fit in. So, all right, one out. Let's put one in and see what happens. Okay. So this is what the new bulb looks like. Let's see what they look like in comparison. About the same, about the same length. It does have a little cooling fan on the back. So we'll see how that works. Okay, that's in. in all right so we're plugged in time to test it well at first glance you can tell it's a lot brighter white compared to the old halogen yellow so that gives me hope that it's going to be uh, it's going to be a nice upgrade these are still the old halogen yellows right here
Okay, so last night we uh, took the truck out for a test drive with the new headlights on this side and the old headlights on the passenger side still to see what the difference would look like. And it, it made a pretty good amount of difference, I would say. So today I'm going to go ahead and finish it up by removing this uh, little airflow vent and being able to reach down in behind here and get to the uh, passenger side headlights. So I'm going to finish these up. Tonight I will adjust them and uh, get them aimed as properly as I can. And that job will be done. So I'll be anxious to see how it does once we, uh, once we put uh, all four in here and uh, take it for a test drive tonight. I was happy last night though. So that's out. Now I can just reach down in here and unplug the lights. Okay, that one's out. That one gave me a little bit of a workout. Like I said, make sure you take these red o-rings off if they don't come off with it because you won't be able to get the new one back in okay actually I'm thinking about leaving that one out until I get the bottom one out this time give me a little bit more working room in here not a lot of working room in here okay that one's out Let's hope this other one comes out a little easier than that top one did. Because, man, that, that sucker was in there. I got it. Not one of those red seals came off with the light, so I had to take them all off here. It's really stuck. Yeesh. All right. That's the hard part. That was the hard part. The easy part's putting them back. All right, so they're all in. I think they're adjusted fairly close to what I need them to be. I, uh, it's kind of hard to see in the daylight here, but I did test them on the garage door. And I did get the patterns to match up pretty well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and leave this this little pin out of this here for now in case I have to pop this back out to readjust it real quick uh, tonight so as far as that goes tonight I'll uh, when it gets dark I'll test them out and uh, I'll take it for a drive and see how, how they look see if I get flashed by oncoming cars for my headlights being too bright or maybe aimed up a little too high and uh, that job is done so I'm anxious to see how they turn out tonight and I'll let you know okay so the headlight installation is done uh, Tested it out last night. I forgot to take the camera and really try to get a visual of what it looks like going down the road. But I will tell you that it is brighter. It is uh, easier to see. Um, when we get into really dark areas in the country, that's going to be where I'm going to have the real test. So I'll probably do an update in one of our uh, travel vlogs. But uh, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can pick uh, these headlights up for, uh, they're like, 30 bucks for a set. I had to have two sets because the Ford has two on each side. Um, cheap and uh, they seem okay. They seem to be working. We'll see how long they last and I'll update, uh, I'll update after we've used them a while. But I am going to carry my spare bulbs with me just to uh, be safe as uh, if for some reason they do fail I want to have a, an easy backup. And Alright so uh, I'm going to button this up. If you haven't already subscribe and ring the bell and give us a thumbs up on the channel. It all helps out and uh, we'll see you on our next adventure. Thanks.